I'm Vicki Cobb, the master chef of Kids Hands-On Science, always cooking up fun activities for kids. I'm going to read to you today a book called I Get Wet, illustrated by Julia Gordon. And it's a different kind of book because it's designed to make you stop reading and go and do an experiment. But I'm going to read it straight through. And every once in a while, I'll show you what you should be looking for in real life. Scientists ask very interesting questions. And for the parents, you should know that there is a page in the beginning which gives you instructions on what you need to have handy if you want to go and do these experiments. So here we go. Know the fastest way to cool off on a hot summer day? You get wet. Know the easiest way to get clean? You get wet. Know what happens when you stay out in the rain? You get wet. Water is the stuff that wets you. It is quite amazing. You can see it. You can feel it. But can you answer this question? What shape is water? Here's how you can get your answer. Pour it into a glass. What shape is the water? Pour it from the glass into a bowl. Now what shape is the water? Pour it into other containers in your kitchen. What shape is the water? Think about it. Water is always the shape of the thing that's holding it. It is flat where it meets the air. If you pour water onto a flat surface, it spreads out. It follows itself as it goes down holes and into cracks. It flows. That's one reason water can wet you. But it's not the only reason. Water can flow because water sticks to itself. Here's a way you can see water stick to itself. Turn on the faucet. Now turn it almost all the way off, but don't tighten it. You want water to come out drop by drop. Watch as a drop of water comes out of the faucet. I've made a video of a drop coming out of a faucet and I'm gonna play it for you slow motion so you can see and I'll describe it and we'll go back to the book. First, it forms a bulge. It looks like a tiny bag of water. Then the bulge gets longer and longer, stretching until it breaks free and drops into the sink. Perhaps that's why a drop of water is called a drop. The surface of the water drop acts like a skin. It is not a very strong skin. When the drop of water gets heavy enough, the skin breaks. If you could slow the drop down, you would see that the skin pull together and make the drop become a ball as it falls. I couldn't get the ball part, it fell too fast. Here's another way you can see that water sticks to itself. Look at a dry paintbrush or a lock of dry hair. The hairs don't stick together. Now dip the paintbrush or the hair into some water and pull it out. Ta-da! All the hairs are stuck together. Water wets you because it can flow. It flows because it sticks to itself even though this stickiness is not very strong. But there's still another reason why water can wet you. Can you guess what it is? Do another experiment to find out. Get a piece of wax paper, put it under the faucet, take it out from under the faucet, touch it where the water was. Is it wet? I did that to show you. Here's my wax paper underwater. And no, it's not wet. 
Surprise, the wax paper is dry. Put a large drop of water on the wax paper. I added some food coloring to the water so you could see the drop that I made. Lift the paper up at one end, the drop slides around. Can you get it to slide right off the wax paper without wetting it? You can have a lot of fun sliding that drop of water around on a piece of paper. You bet. Water doesn't wet wax or grease or even a duck's back. A duck's feathers are coated with a kind of grease. That way ducks can stay dry after they dive underwater. Now put a drop of water on a piece of paper. What happens to the drop? That's easy to do. Get a strip of paper toweling. Stick the end of the paper toweling in a little bit of water. Watch what happens to the water. Like magic, the water moves up the paper. I did make a video of that to share with you amazing. It's called capillarity. The water wets paper because it sticks to the paper. Water likes to stick to paper better than water likes to stick to itself. That's why the water travels up the paper toweling. Does water stick to you? Put a drop of water on your hand or rub it around. Water sticks to you too. Your skin also soaks up water, but not as fast as paper soaks up water. That's what makes your fingers all wrinkled when you've been soaking in the tub a while. Water flows, it sticks to itself, and it sticks to you. That's why you get wet. Yay!